So when I want my design to be very accurate, I always like to use the grid. But even with the grid turned on, we can sometimes be a little bit inaccurate if we don't know about this setting that I'm about to show you. So let's start by turning on the grid by going to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and enable snap to grid. So now let's try to create a quick shape that requires us to be very accurate. So let's simply do a square. And as we can tell right now, it is snapping to the grid, making us very accurate. Then let's pick the ellipse tool and create a circle on top right here and move it right up here. And if we take these two shapes and uniting them, we should have a square with half a circle on top. And it looks fine, but let's try to zoom in a little bit. And as you can tell right here, even though it looked right at first, when we zoom in, we can see that the circle is not aligned as it should. So let's zoom in just a little bit tighter. So if I select this shape, we can see that the square did not align very well with the grid right here. It's probably easier to tell in the bottom. As you can see right here, the corner of the shape should be in this corner right here, right in a crosshair like this on the grid. So why is this happening? And if you're not alert and you don't zoom into your design, you will run the risk of not noticing errors like this in your final design. So how do we make sure that our shapes always align with this grid right here? The issue right here is solved very easily. So let's go down to this transform panel right here. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find it right here under transform. Then go to this drop down right here and uncheck align new objects to pixel grid. And we have only disabled this feature for new objects, which means that we need to create the object one more time. But as you can already tell, if I just make a rectangle, it now aligns precisely to this grid right here. But the reason this is happening is because a pixel cannot be placed on top of these grid lines right here. They are always placed next to a grid line, which means that even though you design with a vector, if you align that vector to the pixel grid, it will behave like a pixel and align right next to the grid instead of on top of the grid like this vector right here. Thank you for watching.